Ho ho, me hearties. Good morning, TikTokers. It's just me, Scotty McClue, popping up at about 20 to 9 on Saturday just to say hi to every single one of you. I hope you are well and a very, very warm welcome to our morning TikTok. How amazing is that? Tremendous stuff. Do come and join us, of course. Lots to talk about and so little time to do it in. How amazing is that? Scotty McClue, first lot of the internet, just for you, popping up Saturday morning. Morning, just to say hi. Shabbat Shalom, Lord Scotty. Shabbat Shalom, Daddy420 forever. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Excellent. A very, very warm welcome to you all, of course. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClue is live. This is the big one. We had perhaps the most awesome live ever last night. Now, you won't be able to see it on TikTok, but you can see it on YouTube. So get yourselves on there. Fantastic. Thank you very much. As soon as you join us, follow us, of course. The camera quality is really bad. Do you have a new phone? Yeah, but it's a really, really good one. So the camera quality should be absolutely excellent. So check your own kit, please, and see if it's any good. And we'll see what we can do. When you say really bad, what do you mean by that? You know, that's that's what I need to know. When you say it's bad, what does that mean? I mean, bad could mean absolutely anything. There we are. Can everybody see us, Matthew? Thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us. Could it be the lighting? Do you want some more light? We might see if we could do something about that as well. I'll move that over. There we are. How's that? Is that better for you? Fantastic. Looks like a phone from 10 years ago. Ah, Matthew. Good morning. It's just too bright. Too bright. Well, we can sort that for you. Although that could be your own brightness. Let's see if we can get something else done here. There we go. Now then, tell me what happens now. Is that better? There you are. How's that looking? Hope you're well. How's Mr. Martin? Oh, did you hear Mr. Martin? Absolutely amazing. Much better now. Scotty, thoughts on the U.S. military? The U.S. military are an outstanding force. And, um, you know, the problem you've got there, you need to have a very, very switched on leader. You need to have a very, very switched on commander in chief. Because uh, if you mobilize something like the U.S. military, you can't stop them. John F. Kennedy got told that by Nikita Khrushchev in, I think it was 1964. A bit better. Thank you, Matthew. How's, uh, I don't know what you, I think you're on the wrong thing, to be honest. User 285. What we'll do with you is just send you down this morning, I think. Very, very confused. <laughs> right, there we go. All right, blocked, fantastic. On the wrong stream, definitely, no doubt about that. Uh, remember never to scroll and never to troll, guys. Otherwise, it's just straight down the swanee with you. So no silly nonsense. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Cole Brandis. How lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Saturday morning TikTok. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Capon. How lovely to have you all with us. This is tremendous, guys. Share and share and share. How's the quality looking? Is it nice? Not too bright, I say. Good morning, Scotty. Dinky you do. Good morning, everybody. And a very, very warm welcome. Tremendous stuff. Morning, Scotty. Morning, Blendful. Is that a Dundee Arab tie you have in the photo? No, that's a Glasgow University tie. There we are. Hi, Scotty. Used to love listening to you on Scott FM. John Morrison, we've got lots and lots. Check out the TikTok videos. There's some little gems there. You're looking great, says Cape and Mugger. I thank you, sir. Dink you do. Somebody was saying it looked a bit old-fashioned earlier. I mean, tut, tut, tutity, tut. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. You're very, very welcome. Never scroll and never troll. Scotty McClure is just for you. Dink you do, says Jock. Dink you do, Jock. Now, a lynx, that's just a lot of rubbish. You never saw me anywhere near there, and you never saw me yesterday. So for trolling, doing the swanee with you. Lifetime ban for lynx for telling lies. There we are, excellent stuff. Now, remember not to say you saw me in a supermarket, not to ask if I work in a supermarket, not to ask about pronouns, not to ask about a tour reveal, any of that rubbish that you're used to uh, putting on everybody else's life, 
doesn't wash here with Scotty McClue, so you'd be straight doing the swanny. Just so that everybody knows. Battling the hay fever today, Scotty, any age-old remedies? Keep away from the hay, as my great-grandmother would have said. Now then, who have we got? Lovely morning, Scotty, didn't you do? Gorgeous morning, Liam Hearts. Just got better because all you beautiful people are on TikTok. How amazing is that? Good morning, Scotty. I'm sitting by the fire in Loch Tummel this morning. I hope it's a beautiful day. Stephen, I know Loch Tummel so well. There's a wee tea room at the head of the loch. They used to do you a lovely, lovely snack. And um, then, of course, you've got the Queen's View. Very, very nice indeed. That's the stuff. Now then, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Bonnie Voyage on the ferry. Ah, oh, bon voyage on the ferry, I say to you. Have you ever met George Galloway? No, but I've had the privilege of being banned from his uh, his uh, Twitter. I think it was, yes, because he was calling himself the mother of all talk shows, and I had explained that Scotty McClue is the daddy of them all. Ah, I don't think that went down too well. Dinky you do, fantastic. Sounds like you're battling a few silly billies today. You'll always get that called Brandis because they think they know better than the host. So they think they'll troll the host, thinking that will be funny. And of course, just straight down the swanny with them. Fantastic. The silly billies, because there's far too many highly intelligent, interesting people come on to Scotty McClue's lives. So why should we bother with the trolls? Never give them a second, I say. JP's just joined us. Welcome, 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 guys. Never scroll and never troll. Saturday morning, Scotty McClure, just for you. Dinky do, I say. Wonderful. That's better. Bless the little hearts. They don't stand a chance. Gone, gone, Cobrandus. Silly, silly stuff. You would think the wad would get round. No, 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 no. Never, ever, ever troll Scotty McClure. Yes, he'll just send you doing the swanny. Fantastic. Morning, lad. How are you? We're great, lad. Thanks for coming on, lad. Cameron there. Fantastic. Dinky do to you, lad. I tell you, Jake's just joined us and Surf has joined us. Fantastic. Hello. I haven't slept. Edo, any particular reason you wish to share with us? Do tell. Fantastic stuff. Uh, where are you? Uh, where am I? I am in the house. Fantastic. Because of COVID, I can't be in any external studio, you'll see. So that's it. Uh, now, come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Morgan Dinky Doo, Human Dinky Doo, lovely to have you all with us. Never scroll, never troll. Scotty McClue, live for you, Dinky Doo. Hashtag float eye, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. Forgive my ignorance. What's the name of your fine headwear today? My fine headwear is a uh, Scottish beret and beret ecos. Fantastic. <laughs> That's what we've got. We like that. There we go. It's uh, got a touch of the Tam O'Shanter about it. Let's just say that. Just couldn't sleep, Scotty. Well, you'll probably drop off now that you're watching McClue. That always helps people to sleep. I can tell you. Now, guys, last night, if you get the chance to go on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, and it says, most awesome live stream ever. Something like that. I can't remember what we've called it. But it was last night's um, TikTok Live. Just amazing. There we are. Have you ever met Gordon Ramsay? Uh, I haven't had that wee privilege. That's a wee luxury that I've been denied up until now. Uh, I'm way too high right now. You're a vibe. Fantastic, Big Al. Thank you. Good evening, sir. True Blue Floors. How lovely to have you with us. Thoughts on RSA? on the Royal Scottish Academy, um, I think quite fantastic, you know, wonderful. You know, I mean, I, I know a few Royal Scottish academicians, painters and architects. A very good morning from Stirling. We love it, Scotch boy. I set up your radio station 30 years ago, Central FM. Start the footy season the day beyond excited. Alco, what are you excited for? We've had more footy than you could shake a stick at. Uh, can you snore for me again, Grandpa? Is this what you always ask when you go on a live, Grandpa? There we are. So we haven't got anybody old enough, I don't think, to be a Grandpa on here. 
so you'll have to snore yourself, but we'll send you to the Swanee for being a half-witted idiot. There he goes. Bye. Bye. Fantastic. I love the old Central FM with the R Scotch boy. I launched that for you. I was the launch managing director 30 years ago. Amazing, isn't it? My name's Archie Brown. Good for you, Archie Brown. My name's Scotty McClure. Shall we compare notes? Tremendous. Uh, they were rotten, but come on, Celtic. Dinky do. Well, no, no, no team's rotten. Doing this one to South Shields. And my name is Reese. And South Shields, man. Fantastic. You're taking the dog a walk in the beach this morning. Uh, come and join us as soon as you can. Just scrolling. Share the live and follow as soon as you come on. Everybody needs to follow. Follow, follow, follow all the time. There we are. Have you followed? Ask yourself, have I followed this guy? I'd better do it now and just go up to the top left, tap the top left and follow. There we are. International football doesn't do it for me. Real football with a passion starts today. What do you think about people having players in the team that don't come from where the, the, the team is? Like, should all the Rangers players and the Celtic players be Glaswegians? Or would you struggle? Do tell me what you think. Have we got enough players in Glasgow to bring on for Celtic and Rangers? Tell me what you think about that one, guys. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClure. This is the big one. A very good morning to you if you've just joined us. Hashtag Floatai, first lord of the internet. TikTok's top talk show, just for you. Where are you from in Scotland? I can't work out the location. You're changing the accent at times. Scotch boy, that's not an accent. That's the way I speak. I'm from the West Coast. There should be a cap on international players per club to encourage homegrown talent called Brandist. You speak verity. McClure approves. What a gentleman. I thank you know you like me. Um, do I know you like you know me? Tremendous stuff. Now, uh, just come and join us as soon as you can. Almost 4 a.m. here in Ohio, in the United States. Bradley, we love you in Ohio. I believe Donald Trump had a massive rally in Ohio. And everybody in Ohio wants the Donald back in situ. Isn't that interesting? And uh, Scotty McClure is huge in America. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? Do come and join us. Guys, I'm going to risk a share. Now, I might disappear for a second, but I'll be back. There we are. Right, I'm going to see if I can share this. Hang on. No, perhaps not. I was going to risk a share. Yes, I will do. I'll just say that we're live now. Here we go. On to... There we go. Fantastic. Now, how's that? So I might have disappeared. My dad was at the rally. Brilliant, Bradley. What does he think of the Donald? He speaks a lot of sense. I do know that. There we are. Thank you, Mr. McClure. Good morning. Good morning. You're a big man. How lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. It's almost two in the morning in Japan, says Swimul. Swimul. How lovely to have you with us. I've just found Frank Spencer. Right, well, hand him into the police, because he may have gone missing. Betty, I'll be worried. Should we support the idea of a joined EU? Oh, yes, yes. Get right back into the EU. Brexit's the biggest act of self-harm since the World War II. Well, World War I, I should say. Yes, shocking. I didn't win the Mark One Land Rover. I ended up going for 12K. Lucky escape. You did have a lucky escape called Brandis, but I did say to you, they are going up and up. You know, I mean, I've had three Range Rovers in my time and, uh, you know, gave them away for pennies. They will be going shooting up through the roof. Absolutely amazing. Fantastic. You see, there are such great engines in some of these cars. Um, I don't know what the Mark One Land Rover, I would imagine it's something like a Rover 80 engine. You can have a two-liter petrol in them, or you can have the Perkins diesel. Do you watch the Formula One racing, Scotty? Um, not quite so much, but I do know people from the fastest 
town in Scotland from Nairn. Uh, do uh, what have we got here? Good morning, nice early start. Galelo, excellent stuff. Good early start. No, but I think you're having a lucky escape, Colbrandist. Uh, you know, because you the, the bits are quite dear. And I think if I remember right, the carburetors are quite difficult to come back. Is that right? Uh, Scotty, do you want to say hello before I go to bed? It's almost 1 a.m. Sean, a very big hello to you. Thank you for joining me last night on perhaps the finest TikTok live ever. Amazing. It's up on YouTube now. Uh, so have a lovely, lovely sleep and dinky do at 1 a.m. in the morning in Arizona in the United States. Right or wrong, the referendum voted to leave the EU. Surely we have to respect this. Well, Kalelo, not really. There have only been two referendums where they've supposedly asked the people. Both have failed the people shockingly. One was the Scottish referendum and the other was leaving the EU. Now, let me give you a bit of background when you're saying we've got to respect this. You had all this stuff by the Leave campaign that were very, very heavily funded by people who stood to gain tax-wise by not leaving by leaving the EU because the EU were about to look into very high-level elite people's tax affairs. That did not go down too well. So obviously these people said, we need to get out of Europe quick before they see how much I've squirreled away and how much I haven't been paying tax on. So, okay, okay. So the British government, right, decided to get us out of the EU now. Their advice was to stay in the EU. So they had to make a massive volte face. Yes, a massive about turn. And then they put Boris in to get it through. Now, if you look at it, 70 million people have lost their EU citizenship for no reason. Okay? Uh, the majority is something like two and a half million dictating to that 70 million people to leave. It would have been 634,000 if the red bussers hadn't gone in, the ones that thought that they very naively thought that the NHS might get an extra 350 million quid a week. Fat chance of that. When does that start? Yep. There was no legal standing in that referendum. It was effectively an opinion poll. So there was absolutely no reason for, apart from for the wealthy people, no reason for uh, the United Kingdom to be dragged kicking and screaming out of the world's top trading block, where we had 30% control, sat at the big table and were loaded. There we go. I vote to leave, same as everyone else. So yeah, big, big mistake, Alien. So there we are, fantastic. Thank you, Scotty. Good morning, good morning, Wolf. Fantastic. I voted for breakfast, I believe, the fibs. Rather stupidly called Brandist. No, nothing stupid about it. Serious pressure put on and a lot of uh, truth misconstrued. Uh, should America use more than two nukes? I don't think anybody should use nukes at all. But uh, if you have them there, then at least you've got the big stick. Could you please say dinky do to Uncle Well, fake fear, and we said that last night. So fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Dinky do, Scotty, good morning. Did I ask Darren? Yes, everybody asks. Shout out to Sophie, please. Absolutely looking. Uh, fantastic. Who else have we got? Scotty McClure, hello from Newcastle. I was up in Edinburgh yesterday. It was great. Edinburgh was beautiful. People are quite obviously misinformed and hoodwinked. Kulelo, absolutely. So respecting it, it's already cost us £250 billion for absolutely nothing to make a few elite people feel that was close. Uh, I voted Remain. I've lived and worked in France and exchange programs and saw the benefits. Danny, absolutely 100%. Now, do you think Scotland could thrive independently? Oh, thrive? Of course it could, for goodness sake. It would be £45 billion pounds better off right away per annum. So there we go. Um, now, what do we got here? There's a link with the 5G and COVID. How very interesting, the alien, yes. 
Uh, you seem to like working too hard. So your energy is getting stronger. Zurupa, when have I last worked? <laughs> I've never done a hands ton. <laughs> is there any way we could ever get back on track trading with others? Not really at the moment because we're doing very, very poor deals. You know, I mean, they really aren't up to it. They will all be in a panic behind the scenes. But the UK is now, yep, since this lock came in, 350, uh, 350 billion down the swanee. 250 billion of that is Brexit. And probably the other 100 billion is the uh, pandemic. So that's that. What? When are you writing more Game of Thrones? Aha, you want McClure to write the Game of Thrones. Get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and put in Scotty McClure, deliver us from evil. Scotty for Prime Minister, says Mickey Boy. Do you support the SNP? I think, no, I'm not political. I don't support any political party. But um, I do think that um, Scotland could do very well economically. I'm very suspicious of some nationalists because some of them are anti-monarchists and that will kill off independence for good. So there we go. We don't want that. You must support the Queen. Proof of proof where needed. All you need in life is a glass of water and a positive outlook. I have both for you this morning, Cobrandus, a glass of water and a positive outlook. There's some poor soul that can't get his head round to Ian WJS. Are you a Tory? Ian, I've just told you I'm not political at all. I don't have any of that nonsense. There we are. I'm for the people. Scotty, I want to be on for a long time and my friend are going to a football game. Well, listen, you get yourself off, we love. You need to go to the football game and you can catch up with this on YouTube later. Tremendous stuff. Why are you always voting to leave the UK but then want to be part of Europe? Because, Sweeney, the two are totally different. Europe gives. Westminster takes. Capiche? Scotland has been robbed blind for 313 years by Westminster. Okay, 313 years of sheer robbery, cash cow. Now, uh, Europe has given Scotland infrastructure, funding, money, a share of trading at the big table. Just tremendous. Tremendous stuff. You've got to remember... Britain begged on its bended knees to be part of Europe in 1968. General, General Charles de Gaulle said, no, no roast beef, no way. So we were uh, just about to go bust. And uh, we managed to get in in 1971. We've had 50 years of peace and prosperity thanks to our trading with the EU and our dear friends and allies, Germany, 30% of it. Then along comes a wee smarty pants from a political party and talks to another smarty pants and hey presto, we're out and on our knees again, begging. Okay, uh, losing EU money, we've nearly sent as much down the Swanee as you have trolls. Galeno, I tell you, absolutely fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Nobody should ever watch Scotty McClue without following. It's the right thing to do. There we are. I love Scotland and I'm American. I'm going to study in uni there. We love you from America. Beautiful people. Everyone loves Scotland. It's the best country in the world, in my opinion. It is a fabulous, fabulous country. Yes, indeed. But it's uh, sadly got a ball and chain on called Westminster. Uh, Treasure on Oak Island. Is that your book? Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Good morning. Dinky do, Scotty McClue. Gillian, lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. De Gaulle seemed to have a short memory, considering Britain's sacrifice in World War II. Galelo, absolutely. Churchill would be spinning in his grave now at the likes of UKIP and the Tories. Because, uh, you know, although you kept a very little power, the guy that was involved at the time was very pro-Brexit. You know, now, 
uh, the worry that we've got here. Churchill wanted a united Europe with the UK right at its heart and a single army with a single commander. That was Churchill for you. So there you are. So he was very pro-EU. Uh, more money for us English people. No money for you English people at all, Richard. You lose on both counts. If you lost Scotland, you'd be on your uppers. If you've come out of the EU, you've just spent £250 billion for absolutely nothing. Okay, fantastic. As long as we cleared that up. What part of Scotland are you from? I'm from the West Coast, Mr. Epic Lad. What's the best part of Scotland to visit for tourism? All of it. Every single bit of it. The borders. Edinburgh, Fife, the Lothians, Aberdeen, the north, east, coming round the west coast, the outer islands, Harris, Lewis, Uist, Barra, get down to Mull and Iona and Isla and Jura and uh, Scarba and Col and Tyree uh, and Colonsey, get over to the Mull of Kintyre. Get round to Mid Argyle, get up to Oban, all round there, stunning. Inverness, Sky, nice hat, mate, thank you. Cameron should never have given people the vote to leave. No, Cobrandist, you're right, because most people know nothing about it. I've learned more about the EU since we came out than I knew when we were in. And I've done 50 years of research. Remember, I was broadcasting on radio and television when there was no internet. So you have to know your stuff. Edinburgh Castle, outstanding. Uh, Scotland, full of alcohol. You can get alcohol in it. I wouldn't say it's full of alcohol, no. Uh, so there you go. There's a lot of myths sent out. Hello from Scarborough. Can someone please explain why England's the only country in the UK with prescription charges? Well, Kulelo, you see, the NHS has become a business. So, you know, they want to make a few quid. Now then, what have we got? Hello from Scarborough. Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us from Scarborough. And a very, very warm welcome, I say to you. Now then, do join us as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClue, TikTok's top talk show. This is the big one. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue. Get on to all the TikTok videos and follow me. Has anybody followed this morning? Could we have a follow fest right now? I've never been to Edinburgh Castle. My dad has. I haven't been yet. You will love it. There's a, there's a royal palace. It used to be a royal residence. I would uh, do that palace up and uh, have that back for the Queen. Edinburgh Castle. Right, get following, guys. I'm going to watch. Would Scottish independence impact on the monarchy at all? Shouldn't have anything to do with it. Our Majesty the Queen is the head of state for Scotland. She's our sovereign lady. The Scots absolutely adore her. Any anti-monarchist is anti-Scots and anti-independence. So I shouldn't think so. I've been to Edinburgh Castle. It's fantastic. But uh, we won't get independence if we don't ensure that uh, the monarchy uh, has its position in perpetuity. I have a video I filmed at the castle, nearly dropped my camera when the one o'clock gun fired. Do you know called Brandist? My father taught me about physics, sound and light. I was walking along Princess Street. He checked his watch, his army watch, and he said to me, watch now for a puff of smoke. We stared up, there was the puff of smoke, then we heard the gun. So, you know, flash to bang, it's known as, by the castle. The governor told me that. So there we are, flash to bang, and um, it just shows you that light travels faster than sound. Simple lesson. Good for him. Can you still get fresh, not frozen fish and chips from the trucks? Not in Canada anymore. I think you can get fresh fish suppers, yes. I had one in Rothsey once. I went to the castle for the Edinburgh tattoo. Fantastic. Danny Ward, the Edinburgh military tattoo. How amazing is that? Fantastic. Started in 1948 by Colonel George Malcolm, the son of Sir Ian Malcolm and the brother of Mary Malcolm of the BBC. 
Remind me, what's the motto above the castle entrance? Nemo me impun la cassette. Nobody attacks me with impunity. The motto for the Scottish crown. For dor medal we me. For England duo e mon droit. There you are. And on his swag he mali is the motto of the Order of the Garter. There we are. Fantastic. Do you remember me? Yes, I do, Summer. I remember you. What do you think about the Royal Yacht? Well, Britannia should never, ever, ever have been decommissioned. I wish these people would talk to Scotty McClue before they do silly, silly things. So she, the, the very, very worst case scenario, Britannia should have been slipped and her engines replaced, the, the gas turbines, beautiful gas steam turbines, replaced with, um, gas turbines, I should say, replaced with uh, big diesels. And she would have been fine for a few years. Scotty, you missed my comment. Where's your comment? What did Nicola say yesterday, Scotty? I missed it. I haven't heard her yet. Is the Waverly still in the go? Yes, Jamie. She uh, has got an excursion today, leaving in about uh, less than an hour, I think, from Glasgow. And she is going down to the Kyles of Butte. Fantastic. So there we go. Tremendous. The yacht was gone years ago, wasn't it? Uh, Kulelo, about uh, Britannia must have been away. Could be almost 15 years, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we need a new one. We always should have had a new one because it's so good for the country. It's an asset. There we are. And the half-witted idiots that go, well, they're spending money for, they could feed the homeless. Feeding the homeless is purely political and circumstantial. Nothing to do with these budgets. We've just spent $250 billion leaving the EU against our will to cause terrific economic damage and political fragmentation to the country. Think how that would have fed the, the, the hungry and the children and the homeless. Uh, a new royal yacht will be named after Philip, so I believe, the Prince Philip. The first time I saw Her Majesty properly upset the day she said goodbye to Britannia. Absolutely, she's very clever, the Queen. She rarely ever shows emotion and, uh, and, and rarely, rarely gives opinion. But um, she was genuinely upset because Britannia was a beautiful creature built by Scots in John Brown's and launched on the 16th of April, 1953. Tremendous. Uh, say hello to my mum, Pauline. Of course I can fund videos, no problem at all. Absolutely delighted. There we go. Who else have we got on here for a wee chit chat? Oh, this is good. Now, I am a bit of a doubting Thomas this morning, which is not me. But I don't know that you've all followed me. Could everybody follow? Let's have a wee follow amnesty. And if you've been watching without following, then uh, please follow now. And then I'll read out your comments. So can everybody get following, please, guys? More following, please, guys. Cobrandus, apparently if you tap on the left, there's a bell. A wee bell image. Can I have some more following, guys, please? We need to get everybody following big style. It's very easy to just scroll through a live and not follow. But we need to start building up. Uh, is public transport good in Glasgow? Excellent. Absolutely first class. You've got the buses, you've got the underground, you've got the taxis, you've got the railways, you know, so there's low-level lines, high-level lines, everything. Outstanding transport. Great transport between Glasgow and Edinburgh. 
There we are. I went to Leith at some... It went to Leith. It's in Leith, Galeno. That's where it is. What's your favorite Bible verse? My favorite Bible verse. The shortest is Jesus wept. And I always find it so moving when I look at that. Jesus wept. I think probably faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. From uh, St. Paul's letter. Yes, absolutely. Uh, what do we got here? To support LGBTQ, I do, but it needs to be LGBTQs. You must include the straight people in that. Otherwise, you are uh, you're being divisive, you know. So you want to pull everybody together. So LGBTQs. Once it becomes that, everybody's up for it. No problem at all. And of course, nobody ever needs to. Um, identify what they are on here. We are all inclusive on Scotty McClue. Is Britannia Museum now? Well, she's for sure. Yeah, she's a floating museum of the yacht. I still can't figure out how to get notified when you're live. That's it. Love the beard, sir. I thank you. Kelvin, have you ever been to a place in Fife called Carden Den? Yes, I know Carden Den very, very well indeed. I nearly bought a house in Carden Den. I believe it's very beautiful, and the people are even more beautiful. And Carden Den is where there's a big sign that says, um, is it football traffic, directs the football traffic. What for? Is it for Wraith Rovers or whatever? Uh, I followed you. Can you answer my comment? I've answered it, Lewis. Yes, LGBTQS. You must start adding an S. Otherwise, it makes a nonsense of LGBTQ because it's not inclusive. Yeah. So there we go. So I've answered your comment. It's Santa Claus is coming to town. We love to visit the catacombs. Am I correct in thinking they're open to the public? The catacombs. Whereabouts go brandest? Uh, can I have five pork pies for Christmas dinner? Yes. No problem at all. We'll have these great presentation ones. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? It looks like Santa in a good way. Yes, absolutely. Uh, don't need to declare anything about them on here. Absolutely luxury cars. It doesn't matter. Nobody's asking. Fantastic. That's the way it should be. Wow. Uh, now, everything here. Ever been to Cowden Beath? Yes, I have. LGBTQS. QTS. Well said, ma'am. Absolutely, sir. Uh, what is it for Wraith Rovers? That's who I'm going to see today. We love you, and we love Carden Den and Cowden Beath. There we are. Uh, Tax 15's trolling Scotty, a ban for them, right? We'll give uh, Tax Q15 a ban. I think this, to support LGBTQ, is what a lot of them who are trolling lives put on, you know, so maybe we should never even ever answer things like that, you know, what a legend you are, Scotty, well, top man, we love you, we love you, family, there we are, come on, the Airdrie, yes, the Airdrie, fantastic, I think so, beam me up, Scotty, you're beamed up, plants, stock cars at Cowdenbeath, oh, fantastic, Cowdenbeath, I used to know a broadcaster from Cowdenbeath, Tremendous. Yes, I did. Fantastic stuff. Right. It's maybe time I wasn't here. Uh, who have we got here? Remember to get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Remember to have a listen last night. My mistake. I meant the Edinburgh vaults. Ah, Colbrand is yes. The catacombs are in Italy. There we are. And Spain. Are the catacombs in Spain as well. Tremendous stuff. Now, um, lots and lots of you joining us. Old Range Rovers are better than the new ones. Well, I love that Buick engine. The V8. Yeah, the 3.5, which was bored out and bored out and bored out until the cylinder walls were like, you could have got a fag packet in them. There. Scotty, are you a professor? Yes, I am. I'm known as a visiting professor for university. My name's Lennon Scotty. My username because it's the family 
There you are. Yes, I heard about that, Lennon. Yes. Very, very sad news. Um, I hope they get the people that did that. Morning all. How's everyone today? Hello, Hal Day. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do Hal. Tremendous. Welcome to Scotty McClue. Hashtag Floati. First Lord of the Internet. Never a dull moment. Scotty, uh, thoughts on estate agents. Estate agents, very, very helpful. There we are. Can be very useful. I'm very good. How are you? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Ted Mann has joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue. Would you like a tune on the squeeze box before I go? That's what we could look at for you. We've been up for about 40 minutes. Is an hour too long for a live? Last night we did about an hour and 20 minutes, I think. I was just wondering if we should uh, have it at um, half an hour. I'm off. Farewell, fine fellas. Go brandest. Have a lovely day. Stay fabulous. Tremendous. Right. I'm going to sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And achieve Oh, cheerio, my loves. Have a gorgeous day. An hour's perfect. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, JT says, Scotty, what would you do differently if you were 20 again? Virtually absolutely nothing, except I would never, ever, ever, ever let the very, very, very bad man who uh, was responsible for me losing my life savings into my life. That was my big mistake. Apart from that, everything is dinky do. Thanks for watching, guys. Take great care of your dear selves and ta-ra-las.